What is up, YouTube fellow hunters and fishermen? Today, I'm excited. I've worked my butt off on literally go going and finding bluegill to catch. Uh, whether you call them bluegill, perch, I don't care. I usually call them perch, so we're gonna stick with that. Shout out to my neighbor buddy Tyler and Chris, especially Tyler today. He hooked me up. He went with me to a local pond that I'm not gonna specify exactly where that is because it probably pissed a lot of people off. But he went with me and helped me catch about 20, 30 bluegill, and now we have prime bait for tonight with some bank line. And I know some of you have seen my other bank line videos. There's the one that's real popular right now. It's where I caught a 30 plus pound flathead on the on the bank line. I use PVC poles. And in that video, I kind of show you how you rig these PVC poles up and how cheap they really are to use and how efficient they are because they bend so much. But enough of me yabbing and jabbering. Uh, I'm pulling up here to the spot, so I'm gonna get these lines set. I might show you guys a little bit of me setting the lines, but stay tuned. We'll be right back. Oh yeah, let's do it. Woo! All right, guys. So I didn't show any of the setting of the lines. The water is perfect. I got five lines in and beautiful spots. I mean, these spots are gorgeous. The river is perfect right now. The creek is perfect right now. It's not up too high. So. I left some bait with Chris and Tyler. They're gonna get another five or six lines set. We should have about 10 to 12 lines tonight. So, when I see you guys again, it's gonna be in the dark. I'm gonna try to have the lighting right. Hopefully you guys can see well, better than the last time. So, we'll see you in a minute. It's dark. We got Tyler back with us. Got the bait that we went and caught earlier. We're gonna check these bad boys. Oh, there's something on this one. Look at that, dude. Uh oh. That's a little guy. Yeah. Little dude. You got hooked like a son of a gun, dude. Well, first catch of the night. He got hooked through the cranium. Jesus, guy. Later, dude. That was the first check of the night. It's looking good. She looks a little limpy. Looks a little limpy. She's a limpy. No bait. That's good though. Look at that full moon. Isn't that crazy? Nuts. Lights up the whole river. Crazy. That's a big boy there. Look at the size of that black guy. Look how dark that perch is. Black. That's a good sign. Bait's gone. Yeah. Can't complain about that. Let her lay. Anything there? It's right up against the bank. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> you get wet? Nope. I heard the voice. <laughs> that went in. That was a close one there, boy. <laughs> Here, I got it. One of Chris's that he set. It's like the last one. No bait on all of them, which is good. Oh yeah, he's still alive too. So that's one of the first lines actually with bait still on it. So, well, keep moving on. This next hole, I said that there is a goat that's either wrapped in barbed wire or some type of line of some sort. I think it's trapped. So we are going to go try to res rescue this dang baby goat. No, we're not making this up. Yes, it's weird. And, uh, yeah, let's see what this entails. You can hear the goat. What the hell? Oh, my God. What do we get ourselves into here? Oh, my. Yes, you hear a goat. He's stranded. Look at him. A little baby white guy. Look at this. Poor guy. What's wrong, buddy? Dude, he. What the heck? He, nothing, he ain't tied up. He's just loose and scared. Come here. Hey, buddy. Let's go find your home, buddy. This is not skidded. Seriously. This isn't skidded. This guy just needs some help. 
lo and behold, this is the creek right on this side of us. And there's a whole freaking farm of these little goats on the other side of this creek. So he probably got loose, swam across the, swam across the creek. Now he is uh, stranded. So we're gonna return him here. We got a goat. It's our bank line and partner now, helping us check these lines. Hopefully gonna bring us some good luck. Thanks, buddy. Here we got a line. She looks like a limp girl to me. Bait's still on it. Right. Yeah, he's a, he's a cool goat. He, he don't mind getting carried around. Hell, maybe he's a plant. Does he have a collar on for God's sakes? This is this is what Kansas fishing does to you. It gets you all. Whoa, guy. We got goats crying in the background. We're checking a lot. Wow. Wow, wow. It has done got interesting. We still got some live. Oh my goodness. We still got a live bluegill on this bad boy, so we're good to go. Shit's getting weird, people. I'm really not lying when we say we have, we have this goat going on. He's trailing us, following us everywhere. So, this line looks like it got all messed up. Look, it's up in the weeds, dude. Nothing on it. Bait's gone. This is the second time the bait's gone on this one. All right, it's been about 30 minutes. These lines have been losing their bait real quick, so we're going to be checking them a bunch here. And we have a live bluegill still, so we'll throw him back. Oh, that was, that was epic. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, next. Perch. This is live bait, y'all, so these perch move a bunch. This could either be a fish or a perch. It's a perch. That some bitch swam. That some bitch swam 30 feet. Or that's no bait. Something had it again. Dude, this thing's been this this one's been empty twice. Look, it's all the way over the damn branch. Look at this, all the way over the grass. Why? That's a swimming. Is he still on? Dude, that's that little dude. Is he... Hold on a minute. Let's look at this guy. Let's see if he's been nibbled on at all. Oh, yeah. He's scaled. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, a fish had a hold of him. I would really hope Sent him over this grass. We're going to have to check these lines like every little, literally 30 minutes. minutes yeah. It's only been 30 minutes since we checked in the last time, y'all. Golly, man. These fish are everywhere. You just got to be on them because obviously somehow they're getting off. So here we got another live bluegill. This is my money spot here. This is where I get the big ones. This is a bunch of uh, old concrete slabs. Nothing but rocks here in, in concrete. This guy's so alive, he's swimming up shallow on the rocks and not staying deep. So I'm going to take the live one off and put a dead one on so we can keep him deep and have one of them big flatheads munch him while he's on the bottom because them li that live one's just swimming up too much all right here we go baby look at him moving we got a fish on here baby we don't know how big it is let's see let's go eh. oh he's in the other line it's a small fish oh it's a flathead Oh yeah, he ain't, he ain't bad. Hey, can you make it to that other? He ain't bad. He ain't bad. Nice fish. Yes. Nice flathead. Old goat's checking him out. Look at this. You ever seen a goat check out a flathead before? I bet you haven't. Now you have. Welcome to Bobby Guy Films. <laughs> this go has not left. Oh, <laughs> Alright guys. Oh, there he goes. Here's that flathead. What was he? About a 10 pounder? Yeah. About a 10 pounder. Alright. Looking good. Hopefully we can get some more luck on these lines now. Alright. So, this is one of our... Uh, look at this. Look at this line. Look at this line. 
it's going nuts. So this is one of our lines that we literally have to walk about a quarter mile back into, into the creek. Here goes Chris. Shine your light on the dad. There you go. Oh, is it what? big? It's oh, a that's big a big fish. fish. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Dude, that's a big, get him out of that limb. Hold up, get him out of the limb. Get, pull him up here. Hold on, oh my God. Oh, that's a big, that's a big flatty. Here, I got you, I got you. Oh my God, look at him. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this big boy, shine it on his head. All right, we got this big boy. Took my picture, gotta get him revived here. Look at him there. That's a big boy. What's he weigh? 25 pounder. I bet he's easy at 25 pounder. It's biting time, it's 1.30 in the morning. These fish are coming on right now. The moon is full and it is bright. There he goes. Boom. He's out. All right. Releasing him back into the river and creek system that we caught him from. That's what we came here to do tonight. Yeah, buddy. So what have we caught? We've caught three fish. We've caught a small channel, a 10 pounder, a 25 pound flathead. Now I got another fish. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Let's go, baby small fish oh no maybe not I don't know I don't know this kind of feels like it's a f it's a goddamn branch <laughs> no, all right check another one here hooked on something no, we got a live perch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, baby, we baby. got we got a pole shaker. Looks like a small one. Looks like a small one how it's moving. Look at look, look at him right there. Look, we got Mr. Goat. Oh, oh look at look at this pole. Oh boy, we got a pole shaking McGee. Alright, let's go. I hope it's a big one, man. It feels big. It feels... Oh, flat! Yep, yep, he's a nice flathead. Nice flathead. Jesus! Oh my God! Look at him! Holy moly, this is a heck of one night, man. What is he? Probably a what? Yeah, he's a 15 pounder. He's a 15 pounder, I bet you. Oh my goodness. Dude, we've had one heck of a night. Look, look at this. Okay, here. Let's take a minute. So we got nice flathead all night. Full moon. We got a goat. We got a goat. I'm not even lying to y'all. Tonight has been one heck of a night one heck of a night we knew it was going to be gold let's let this guy go here boy howdy i'll tell you what tonight has been everything that we knew it was going to be we had the right bait me and tyler went to this dang pond earlier we caught about 25 25 bluegill and uh, plan to do this tonight. It is now, what is it, 2.30 in the morning? Yep. Tell you what, it's worth it when you catch these big okay. fish. It is 3 a.m. on the dot. I'm at the spot in my drop top like a musher. <laughs> catching these flathead, hello. And there he is. He's out. All right. Holy moly, we got a big fish. <gasps> Oh my god. That's a big fish. Hey. Oh my god. We got to we got to get him on the bank. That's a big fish. I just saw this pole go up. 
Yeah, buddy. Hey, hold on. Don't, don't, don't pull him hard. Don't pull him hard. Don't pull him hard. Yeah. Grip him hard. Dude, nice. Oh my God. Holy shit. He's 30. He's not. He's, he's over 30. Yeah, that's Look that's a big one. Oh, oh my Ooh. god, that's a big fish. Dude, this is the fourth big fish tonight. Hold on, we got to unhook him. I'll get back to you. Oh, he just <laughs> tore into my fucking fingers. fingers up. Here we go. We're going to revive this big boy. Holy moly, he's a big fish. He just tore my fingers up. Look at that, bleeding. Oh, this is a big, big flathead. What are you thinking? 30. 30 easy. Holy moly, that's a big fish. Holy moly. We've been catching them like no other night. This is insane. Holy man, 10 minutes in between these big fish. I'll tell you what, this wears you out. We got another, look at this fish. Oh my God, we got another fish. Seriously guys, I'm not making this up. We got a goat, look at the goat still with us. Look at him, I ain't even lying. We got us another pole bender here. Oh man, he feels big. Golly, he feels big. He got him. He got him. Holy sh shite balls. I'm not going to bed tonight. Seriously, how can you go to bed and keep catching these guys? Alright, I'll be right back. Oh boy. Oh god, it's so slick. Hold on, turn around. Look what Chris just did. He just got a butt full of mud, dude. <laughs> he just slipped everywhere. That is cool. That's a big fish. Another one. That's probably about a 15 pounder there. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish right there. All right, we're gonna get her unhooked and let her free. This hole, we have caught some big fish out of. I'm telling you what, tonight has been unreal. I know I've said it many times tonight. But tonight, I'm telling you, to get this fish revived. Tonight's been killer. Full moon, live bait. These flathead cannot resist it. There he goes. There we go. Woo! Oh boy. It is past 4 a.m. in the morning. We have literally sat out here, rebaited lines, I don't know how many times. Gilbert, look, Gilbert has been chilling with us the entire time. Tonight was an epic night of nothing but flathead catching and ridiculousness. Like, we knew tonight was going to be great because it was a full moon night. Tonight was epic. I'll tell you right now, a night like this doesn't happen very often. So... I want to thank you all for watching. Please go check out my other flathead catching videos, bank lining. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks to Chris. Thanks for Tyler helping me catch all the all, all the all the bait that we used tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.